I asked you guys what was the next video you wanted to see on my YouTube channel and you guys all voted on a color grading video. Now the photograph I'm going to be working on today was a very popular photo on Instagram and many of you guys requested how I did my color grading. So let's jump right into it and let's cover todo el pedo. Before we get into Photoshop, I do want to show you what I did at the raw level. Everything I'm doing here you can also do in Lightroom. I also am going to have a free raw file so that you guys can edit along with me. It will be a different photo though, so just keep that in mind. So the first thing that I usually do is I adjust my white balance. On so this one, I brought the white balance down to more of the blue tones just so I can bring a little bit more of those blues out, brought up the saturation, and I set the opacity to about 40%. So this one, if you just click right here, before and then the after. Then the base layer. This is kind of like my overall color grade. Did negative two on the contrast, brightness two, shadows two, negative four on the blacks, brought the clarity up to two. I noticed that the oranges were a little bit too saturated, so I went into my color editor, went to basic, brought the saturation down. I wanted the blues to stand out a little bit more, so I increased the saturation there. And then in my shadows, I went to the magentas and purple areas. The midtones, I added reds, and then in my highlights, I added kind of like an in-between of teal and green. And then, of course, added a little bit of, I don't know where I left it, here it is, my grain. I brought it up to 14, so the base layer, the before, and then the after. And then the last thing is I added a filled adjustment layer, which was a radial mask. And what this is, is if I push M on the keyboard, what's in green was affected. And all I essentially did is I brought down the exposure to negative two and basically created a vignette and darkened up the background so that the subject could pop. So if I hit Y on the keyboard, this is the before and then the after. In Photoshop, I've already done the frequency separation in Dodge and Burn. And in order to keep this tutorial quick, I've already done this step. Now I'm going to zoom in just in case you guys want to see what I did with the frequency separation in Dodge and Burn. This is where I do my skin retouching. Now let me zoom in a little bit more. And if you're curious, Eli, I really want to know what Dodge and Burn and frequency separation is all about. Look in the description. I'm going to have some beginner level tutorials for Dodge and Burn and frequency separation. If we also look, you'll see that I removed some of the distractions back here. And also there were some rubber bands on the sunflowers that I also removed. Now let's get into the color grading in Photoshop, which is the most important step. In the layers panel, I'm gonna go into the adjustment layers and I'm gonna go all the way down to selective color. Now, if you've seen my work, you know I love selective color and I usually start off with that. The ones that I like to focus on is the reds and yellows because that's where the skin tone lies on. So in my reds, I like to keep things subtle. So if I, if you're wondering how selective color works, it's going to target the reds. And I do have a beginner tutorial that talks about everything about selective color. So I'll also have that linked in the description. So on this specific image, I keep things usually subtle. So I went plus two, plus two, and then in my yellows, I brought it up to three, and then I brought the contrast up to two. Now keep in mind, every single image is gonna be a little bit different. So you're just gonna tweak the sliders. Now, if there's one piece of advice I can give you is try to keep the sliders, if you're barely starting off with color grading, at the max to negative five or plus five. And then you can start, as your eye starts to develop, then you can start tweaking it to your liking. So I'm gonna go here, negative three, plus two, plus two, and then we're gonna go here to plus two. Then I'm gonna go into my green. So my reds and yellows, the most important part for that is the skin tone, okay? Then I'm gonna go into the greens because we also obviously have the grass down here. So I'm gonna to go to plus six. So if I wanted to, I can go a little bit more on this kind of uh, like yellowish golden side, but in this one, I'm gonna go about plus six. This is what I went on my original. And then magentas, I went negative 13, three, and then zero. Then I'm gonna focus on the blues. So I'm gonna go into the blue slider and then I'm gonna go plus 10, plus two, and then negative two, and then plus four. So this effect isn't gonna have like a huge, huge difference. So if I zoom in here, you might not see it on the monitor, but on my monitor, I do see a subtle effect, okay? Now, the most important step of this process was using a LUT. 
Now, I have been working on some LUTs that I plan on selling, so I'm gonna have a link in the description. If you do like this effect, I'm probably gonna sell about eight or 10 of them. So I'm gonna add a custom LUT in here. So in order to do that, I'm gonna my layers panel, and I'm gonna go into color lookup, and then here it's gonna ask me load 3D LUT. So I'm gonna go load, and then I'm gonna go into my desktop, which for some reason it's not letting me, there we go. Um, so here, the one that I used that I've been kind of creating and working on is the cowgirl, cowgirl brown. So I'm gonna hit op open. Now in this step, I know, I know you're gonna be like, well, Eli, I don't have the LUT, bro. Like this is kind of like the overall basis of the color grade. And I apologize, but everybody wanted to know the color grading on Instagram and this is what I use. So here's the thing. I know on this step you're gonna need this. So the first 100 people that click the link below will get it absolutely free, okay? So look at the link. I'm gonna give this LUT away for free. It's gonna be a part of my LUTs pack. Um, but to be fair, you know, I gotta be nice. I can't do this. And then you guys are like, este vato, dude, you're using these LUTs and you're trying to sell them. And you know, I can't even get do this step. I don't wanna be all gotcha like that, okay? So. First 100 people, and if it's popular, you know, I might just give it away for free. You know, I'll see how the video does. I'll see the comments. If it gets, you know, sold out after the 100, you know, I'll probably just give it away for free, okay? So anyways, let's go back to the LUT. So I've already applied this. Now look at what it does. What I love about these LUTs that I've been working on is that it adds this beautiful, beautiful color grade to the overall image. So it kind of sets the tones for everything. It's really, really beautiful, right? And so what's cool about this is that when we add this is that, now I can go into my opacity and I can kind of adjust how strong I want this effect. So some of you might be like, bro, at 100, it looks amazing. But me personally, I want to bring this down somewhere about 50. Let's see what it looks like at 50. So if I hit the eyeball before and then the after, and if I want to bring it down some more, I can go about 35. So once again, before and then the after. And about 35 is where I like it. You guys, by all means, every image, once again, is going to be different. And I've given you guys a raw file so that you guys can kind of see what I'm working with. But at 35, I'm going to leave it at 35. You guys go ahead and choose what you think looks good. Now, with my LUT already provided, one of the other important steps that I love doing in my work is going into solid color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a teal color into my highlights. So if I scroll down, what I want to get is a teal color. So I want to get the exact same teal color that I had. And so if you want to get the exact same one, go ahead and type in these numbers. So I'm going to do 00 C 6 FF. Okay. And this is the teal color that I used. I'm going to hit okay. And then when you add this fill color, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click in this empty area right here. So I'm going to double click and what's going to pop up is your layer styles. And what I want to do is I want to change the blend mode from normal to soft light. And so what we want is we definitely want this blue in the highlight specifically, but right now it's doing it to the overall image. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use blend if at the very bottom. So what you'll notice here at the bottom, we have the underlying layer. And so what I want is I want this specifically in my highlight. So here's the highlight section and these are the shadows. Look what happens when I drag this to the right. You'll start to see that it gets removed from the shadows. And that's exactly what I want. So I moved it about 148. And then what I want to do is I want to blend it off. You'll see that right now the blending, it's not very good. So what I want to do is I have to hold alt or option on my keyboard and I'm going to break this off and you'll notice that it starts to fade and it starts to blend a lot better. Now, right now it's still pretty strong in these areas. What I want to do is I want to get to my opacity and reduce this now. So if I go about 50% and I hit okay, this is the before and then the after. Now look at this, look at these nice little blue tones. Woof! This looks beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. So look at before and then the after. Before, after, adds that nice subtle touch. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a solid color, but this time for the shadow. So I'm gonna add another one. And this time I wanna add like a maroonish color. Now, if you want the exact same color as me, what you're going to do is you're going to type in the following numbers below 63 and then four zeros to get this maroon color. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to double click so we can get my layer style panel out. 
we're going to do the same thing, blend if, we're going to go soft light, and then we're going to do the opposite. I want this in my shadow, so on the blend if, I'm going to leave the shadows there. This time I'm going to go to the highlights. I want to remove it from the highlights. And what I want to do is I want to drag it to about 159, and you'll see that it's removing it from the highlights. And then I want to blend it off once again. This doesn't look very good. I'm going to hold Alt or Option on my keyboard, and I'm going to drag that and fade that off. So now that little brown tone is in the shadows. And then, of course, the same thing. Right now it's too strong. The contrast, I'm going to reduce the opacity, and I'm going to put it about 25%. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So before and then the after. Now, the reason why I like this maroon is that it, for me, it goes really well with this kind of Western cowgirl look. So if I look at, let's just look at the color grade. I'm going to group everything together. So I'm going to hold Shift. I'm going to press Command G on the keyboard. And I'm going to name this color grade. And now let's look at the overall before and after. So before and then the after. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Let's get rid of some of these guys here so that we don't have distractions. And <laughs> I messed up because I can't even do the before and after. Uh, here we go. <laughs> so before and then the after. Before and then the after. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'm going to leave you guys off with a lot more editing tutorials. Let me know what you guys thought of that LUT and just you know, the LUT is for free. I really do appreciate you guys supporting the channel. And I, I can't, I don't even know how to end this video now. <laughs> I kind of stumbled through my words. So I'm just going to end it like that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.